Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Han Yolo, another beer video. I got Block 15 beer today. Never had this before. It is a seasonal. They usually brew it um, around October, Halloween time. Uh, just because I'm going to tell you the name and you're going to know exactly why. But it is a 8.75% ABV Pale Ale, man. Um, one of the strongest Pale Ales I've ever had for sure. Uh, usually they're IPAs at this point, but it is Story of the Ghost. A hauntingly pale ale and hauntingly uh, is a proper word for it because of the name of the beer and it is 8.75% ABV. Uh, the canning date there is missing. I kind of see a little bit of where the uh, machine missed it right there, but there's no date. You can't see it. Uh, yeah, you just can't see it. It, it says bread or something. I don't even know what it says actually. But uh, let's get this to a glass and see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. Block 15 is out of Corvallis, Oregon, for those that do not know. Oh, damn, okay, beer just squirted everywhere as soon as I um, opened the can there. Let me go wipe that. Actually, no, I'm not gonna wipe it. I'm gonna continue on the video so then I don't have to edit it. Um, but I'll do it quickly just so I can go wipe that so my dog doesn't come and uh, try to look it up. But uh, I've never had this before. This is at least the third time, I believe, that I've seen it uh, released. So, pretty excited for this. Pour it with about, I'm gonna say two fingers head. Very uh, soapy, foamy, uh, mixture of tiny, tiny, tiny to larger bubbles. Uh, the color is uh, orange. It is a vibrant yellowish orange. I'd say more orange than yellow, but it's definitely hazy, man. It looks like, I wouldn't say orange juice, but definitely like a, uh, a tropical fruit juice, perhaps, from concentrate, obviously. It, is, this does not, it does not look like natural, fresh squeezed orange juice or anything like that. Uh, let's get into the aroma. Oh man, whoo. Smells delicious. Definitely get citrus up front. Tons of citrus. There we go. Getting some underripe pineapples. So it's like sweet pineapples, but not extremely sweet pineapples like you would get with like pineapples that are ready to eat. Um, so imagine harder pineapple cubes, I suppose, um, where, um, compared to softer pineapple cubes. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Mangoes, definitely get mangoes. Very slight mangoes. Maybe I'm not getting mangoes. Maybe it's peaches. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take back the mangoes. I'm gonna go with peaches. I don't think I get mangoes there. Definitely peaches though. Yeah, it's just like mangoes, not mangoes. Peaches, citrus, and uh, pineapples. That's all I'm getting. Maybe like some, maybe slight, slight barnyardy grassiness in this too. But uh, let's get into the flavor, man. Cheers. Oh yeah, mouth feels solid on this. You definitely get the malts in here. Um, I think there's like a ton, a ton of pale malts in here. You definitely get it, dude. And uh, oats too, just a crap ton of oats. That would explain the mouth feel, I think. I think oats is associated with thick mouth feel. I don't brew beer, I don't know that for sure, but I feel like a lot of these beers that have flaked oats or whatever in them, uh, they enhance the mouthfeel. It gets creamier, it gets thicker, uh, it gets that mouthfeel that everyone wants, man. This is a damn good beer, damn good. It is definitely more tropical and more hoppy than I had expected because on the aroma, I just got, I, I really thought it was gonna be like huge citrus bomb, but this is like a, Tropical fruit, I wouldn't say bomb because it's not like really bombarding you with the uh, tropical fruit flavors, but it's definitely there, it's present, man. It is, you you can't miss it. Uh, you definitely get the malt flavor in here. The oats is extremely present, like I said before, uh, and it's actually hoppier than I expected. Like I did not think this was gonna be this hoppy. It definitely has that quick one-two punch of like a, uh, uh, a bitterness. It, it kind of lingers around a little bit, but it fades into this more herbal, like medicinal bitterness, but I'm completely okay with that. It is not like overly bitter at all. 
and everything in this beer just works so damn well. 8.75% ABV. I barely, barely get any trace of alcohol in the back of my throat. It's like a slight, slight burn. Uh, but I would never guess that it's that high up. I would just be like, oh, it's like a 7.5 maybe, but not an 8.75, dude. That is, that is a pretty damn high ABV pale ale in my opinion. Uh, I don't drink a whole lot of pale ales because I prefer IPAs. Uh, I just like the hoppiness, the bitterness, and you know, they're just more flavorful in my opinion. But uh, this is damn good, dude. I highly recommend this. And I'm not sure how long it's gonna stick around. I'm actually surprised to see this in stores still because I know people like go crazy over this year after year after year, man. But if you, you know, if you find a trader or someone wants to trade you, I would go ahead and trade something for it. It is definitely worth trying, worth drinking at least once, man. Uh, it's an incredible beer, but you know, to me, it's an incredible beer. You may think differently, but you won't know until you try. So uh, this is Block 15, Story of the Ghost, an 8.75% ABV, hauntingly pale ale. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, subscribe for more videos, and as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching. Cheers.